Food printing today is a novel technique. Typically, it involves one or two ingredients and rarely involves cooking. In practice, however, most food prep involves many ingredients and cooking during the process. Here, we try and push the limits of food printing to incorporate many ingredients and inline cooking. We did this by constructing a seven ingredient slice of cheesecake. Our design went through multiple iterations before achieving a successful final print. All designs used the same seven ingredients. Design one was a simple stacked layered structure. This structure crumbled when ingredients like jelly and banana puree cannot hold their shape under stress. In our next design, we leveraged more structural ingredients like peanut butter and Nutella to form pools for the jelly and banana puree to rest in. The walls, however, were too thin and toppled easily from slight perturbations of the nozzle. To fix this, we tapered the walls by making them thicker at the base and thinner at the top. This proved more effective until the last layer of graham cracker was deposited and crumbled the softer ingredients underneath it. Since graham cracker was the stiffest ingredient, we decided to use it more throughout the construction for greater rigidity. This worked a lot better, but there was still significant smearing of ingredients throughout the internal structure which meant that we had to size up our model and provide more clearance for the food nozzle to deposit walls around the pooled ingredients. Another common issue was this coiling effect, especially visible with the graham cracker paste. To fix this, we adjusted the offset height between successive layers and reduced the speed of the initial material deposition. For our final design iteration, we reduced the ceiling thickness of the last graham cracker layer we made the initial Z height for the Nutella lower to compensate for material sagging, and we laser broiled the last graham cracker layer. Who knows? Perhaps food printing might allow people to share a slice of pie even when they are far apart. <laughs>